about y'all? Dollar store Kenya soda for crack. <laughs> no, 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 no. All right, y'all, welcome back. Random TV Review, your girl and that. Your boy, Stanley. Back with um Green, nope. <gasps> Queen Sugar, you better stop calling this bull skit freaking uh, 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 dag on it. <laughs> <laughs> It's one of these goddamn plant-based titles. You Shoot. can't wait to Greenleaf come back on so bad in August, can you? Yeah, man. I know. I, one of these plant-based yeah. titles. I don't. They, they all run Queen together. Sugar. It's, all, it's all on um, Queen Sugar, Greenleaf, plant-based, whatever. Whatever. So it make no difference. You're vegetarian. <laughs> um, if you're new to the family, welcome. This is what it is. Yeah. Um, we do no bulls good over here. We don't do disrespect over here. You will get blocked. Even yeah. if you're down in the comments talking bulls good to somebody else that's in our comment section because they are guests of our house, of exactly. our channel. So you won't do it over here. But um, if you're if you're coming back, welcome back. Welcome, welcome back. back. So um, huh? <clears throat> that guy doing Charlie. Charlie don't finally say, hey, Micah needs to get some counseling going on up and then through here. Well, she's sitting down there with the counselor waiting for Micah to walk through the door and uh, Micah ain't coming. Because nah. Micah is um, doing Habitat for uh, Humanity. Yeah. And you know that's real um, near and dear to my heart. Yeah. So I won't even mad at yeah, it. Yeah, making a difference in the world. So, you know, <clears throat> Micah lets mama know, say, hey, lines cross. I'm sorry. Yeah. You know, it is what it is. So at that point, you know, Charlie in her mind was like, well, session over. Son ain't here. Deuces. Without. The counselor said, no, no, no. No, you stay right there. <laughs> I got you on the line. Yeah, you stay right there. You ain't carrying your life skin on hard nowhere. Because basically what she was trying to tell her is, whatever's going on with Micah starts with you. That's right, because the apple don't fall too far from the goddamn tree. So, she got down to the bottom of it. She cracked Charlie open like an egg. Mm -hmm. I said, ooh. And basically got down <clears> to the <throat> point that, um... She said she was never able to talk to her mom. She loved her mom. They had a great yeah. relationship. But she can only talk to her mom in the parameters of perfection. Mm -hmm. If it didn't follow those parameters, they couldn't talk about it. Yep. And the, the lady was looking at her like, now is any of this clicking to you? Yeah, do you treat Micah like that? She and was she's like, like, no. Like, you lying. I said, okay. You lying. And she know you lying. Because cancel it. Because see right on through you. And they don't got to say nothing. No. Nah. They just be like. They just look, they give you the certain look. And you be like, okay. 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 I'm bucked up. I know I'm yeah. bucked up. Just, <laughs> just don't judge me. That's why men don't like going to counselors. Nah, they don't. They actually. Yeah. Women, we don't give a rat's say. Be like, oh, you tell me I'm bucked up. Tell me something I didn't know. That's why I'm here. <laughs> That's but, why I'm here. But a good counselor is a balanced counselor. Yeah. You can't just attack. One person, you gotta make it balanced. Oh yeah, yeah. Say everybody gets a black eye. Yeah, everybody gets yeah. And then everybody gets jacked up like somebody we know that was here last night. <laughs> <laughs> Inside joke. Don't even worry about it. You threw me off with that one. You threw me <laughs> off with that one. So then we see um, Doctor Dubois. He comes over there right to the Habitat for Humanity house, and I said, "Where he come from? Where he come from?" Well, Nova had put out this tweet asking for help for the um for the house, right? And he had seen that tweet, and he said, mm, I can bang on some wood, uh -huh. and maybe I can get nailed while I'm down there. Yeah. So he came on through, and Nova was like, mm. So it came all the way from, from hot lamp. How, How you, you do, do that there? there? I said, I know you going down in Louisiana. It's hotter down there. It's 105 here today. Yeah. What kind of bullshit is that? Hot as piss here. I said, don't. Yeah, that's probably why we on 20 today, because we just hot. <laughs> As hell, even Hi in the AC. Hyped up on heat. Yeah. So he comes over. Then we see Davis West come over there to pick Micah up and take him back home. So by this time, you know, they get there, they introduce and they, they know each other, but they don't know each other. But then uh, uh, the press noticed old Mr. Davis West. Mm -hmm. And Davis West noticed this girl. Uh -huh. I, Jennifer. And she sang a singer. And she's giving this lovely interview about how, you know, she was to live in a Habitat for Humanity house. Then they looking at each other, looking at each other, looking at each other. The people on the press is like, so Davis West, are you behind this project? You know, is this something you can get behind? And you know, he gives his nice NBA speech. 
you know, <laughs> gives her some accolades at the same time. Hint, hint, I'm, uh -huh. I'm flirting on the low, low. Uh -huh. She over there just pan, pan is going lower, 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 and lower. And I said, you know what? Why don't you just get in on that pink panty sale over there at Victoria's Secrets this week? <laughs> 10 pass for $35. Because right now you just going to mess yourself up. Just standing there looking at Davis West. See, they ain't had it got on news lady fool. Because she was like... She said... So okay. like what? This is this is the news. This this ain't um the love connection. Yeah, you know, Jamie Foxx ain't present. Hook <laughs> y'all up. <laughs> so then we see old Ralph Angel. Ralph Angel <clears throat> wants Dollar to move into that house. Some kind of bad. Say you ain't got no job. Your trail of lot rent gonna be due at the first of the month. Yeah. What you gonna do? Yeah. So she was like, you know what? This is why I can't say I appreciate Dollar. I still mm -hmm. got my eye on Dollar. I promise you, I do. Uh, she, she, I gotta admit, she did win me over just a, just a, just a little hell. bit with that because most of the time, that's the crackhead's freaking thing is to get into the house <laughs> so they can steal all your so shit. they can take everything. You come home, the couch is gone, <laughs> the faucet is gone, your chimney is gone, your side is gone, your whole goddamn deck is gone. Everything just gone. It just matter of fact, the whole. Freaking house be gone. <laughs> Shut up, Stanley. <laughs> <laughs> but Dollar said, you know what? I don't want to move up in here. I want to struggle this thing out on my own. Mm -hmm. I'm so sick and tired of people basically bailing me out. And I was like, oh, oh, so, so okay. Wait a minute. I said, you got me. You, you got me a little bit. Maybe your like motivational skills are getting me too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm falling for the old doke. Yeah, I thought I was a professional. I'm in the sulky place now. <laughs> Hey, hey, help me. Hey, hey. 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 Get the flash. Give me the flash. Dollar got me. Dollar got me. Give me out. Give me out. I'm back. <laughs> I said, Darren Dollar, you good. Uh-huh. <laughs> so then we see um Unvi. Well, before before we get to Unvi, she had went over there to Charlie because she wanted Charlie to look over her resume, tell her some pointers, some tips on how she can get another job. And Charlie basically went into perfection mode mm -hmm. just like the counselor already told her she does yep. <laughs> and she you know she was really impressed with the employers that this girl had had before and dollar lets her know look i had help from my parents and um she was like i know i can't get that help no more and charlie was like you know what you really never know you know maybe you could just ask your parents for one more favor and they can get you straightened out she mm -hmm. won't have no parts of it so she nah. was like Deuces, I'm out. So that let Charlie have a little moment to think about some things. Yeah. So then we see Unvi. Unvi is over there. Um, <laughs> her at Hollywood. <clears throat> well, Hollywood was supposed to be doing a tasting of her pies, giving her some feedback on some of the things that she need to tweak so that she could take these um out here to the masses. So she can so make she, she can make her first meal. Yeah. So she can get um Patty's pies off the goddamn shelf with her arrogant <laughs> self. And um yeah, maybe we could sing and and get popular on uh -huh. YouTube. Well, we did our video with um, Viral. Y'all didn't know that, did y'all? Yeah, sure uh, we did. was on Entertainment Tonight. It was in the Inside Edition. Inside That's what we edition. was on. Yeah. So, um, he noticed that his baby, she she here, but she ain't here. Yeah. He said, what's going on with you, Vi? She was like, no, I'm good. I just consumed with it. He said, mm -mm, pies, come yeah. again. Uh-uh. She said, listen. My goddamn brother Ernest don't wrote a goddamn letter leaving everything to um Blue and, and, and Raw. He said, oh man, this oh, is bad. Oh, Ernest, oh Ernest. But he said, well, you got to realize that Rob was out there working in the field while the rest of them tuned but do out doing what they didn't want to do. They didn't want to come back and help. And I said, true. 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 Mm -hmm. true. That, that is a good point, though. So it's like, you out there hustling and bustling with your dad, keeping everything afloat. You remember mm -hmm. on episode one, season one, he was trying to get Charlie to even come and visit. visit. And she, she, and she always visit. blew him off. Yeah, she, she was too busy. Off. Now, I don't know about Nova. You know, Nova had to tend to her own crop. Weed. <laughs> so, I don't really know what their relationship and, you know, how often she so visited So, Nova her. said she waiting on that, that weed to become legal in New Orleans so she can start cashing in on that boost. Yeah. She gonna have a freaking... She, she already got the window pane. See, so. so, she gonna have a sign that said, open and close. <laughs> I just got to get it how I live. <laughs> So, um, Unvi goes 
to pitch her um pies to this white lady at. it looked like a bakery or something like that telling her you know basically you know this is gonna be the, the best thing coming da, 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 da. the whole time this wench wouldn't even look on by and i wouldn't acknowledge her wouldn't do nothing it was kind of like mm -hmm, go ahead with your speech i'm mm -hmm. not hearing nothing you gotta say this pie could jump out of the mm -hmm. god door container hit me upside my head make me see jesus make me speak in tongues right here and just because it's a yo I ain't gonna sell it in my shop. And that's basically how it went. She told her advice to, hey, go around here, try somebody else. And if you become successful with them, then maybe I'll consider carrying your pies in my shop. On Vi, I'll tell you exactly what you need to do is when you become successful, take her back a pie. But make sure you give her one of Minnie's pie. Hey! From the help. That's what you do. And then the girl said, man, this is the best pie uh -huh. I've ever had in my life. And on that one, they said, you ate minutes pie. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm bad. She don't got in her feelings about this, right? You know, and it ain't nothing like that first. I'm hype. I'm excited. I'm got yeah. my, you know, I'm in my element. I know I can do this. And somebody and tell you, no, you can't. They reject you. Man, that is a heartbreaking feeling. Mm -hmm. So she in there listening to that slow music. Hollywood coming to say, hey, Vi, what you not going to do is sit here and, and, and um, waddle in your walls. Yeah. Get your tail up and let's do this all let's again. Let's go sell these pies. I got your back. We yeah, going to do this. Good. She said, let me have a day where I just ain't going to be the superhero. Let me work on <laughs> Ralph Angel's bullshit, Charlie's bullshit, Nova's bullshit. He said, you was not born to be the god of these goddamn kids. Yeah. Let's get these pies. And let's get the rocket. Yeah, so we need to get these pies from Walmart and Target and 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 and, and Food Line, you know, HEB, and yeah, you can't be sitting here in this bed. He said you can't turn one day's trouble into two. I said if that don't sound like you, Stella won't let me have a bad day. Nah. He'll sit here and he'd be like, if you don't get yourself together, I'll, I'll give you one. You don't give me one. I do give you one. No, you don't. I do give you one. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I might give you a half. More that's more like it. You give me a half, and after I'm pouting for a little bit, you be like, um, snap out of. I mean, let, let's go take a ride. And he always get me with ice cream because he know I'm a fluffy girl and I like ice cream. Yeah, cause worrying is not good for you. Ice cream ain't either. <laughs> ice cream better for you than worrying. It's a whole lot of people in the grave for worrying all their life. So then come um he finally got her up and <clears throat> back in her element. She goes to another, um, looked like another diner actually, and it was yeah. run by this um black this black man. man. And I said, not not again, there not not again. He started off down that direction though, but and he was but his he was having a bad day. He was hot as hell like uh -huh. me. <laughs> he said, God, no, I don't know what you're selling, but I, I don't want it. Is is the AC is broke? It's hot in here, <laughs> and I'm ready to take off all oh, my yeah. goddamn clothes. <laughs> so what? She said, uh, he said. Uh, Hollywood said, if you got trouble with your air conditioning, I can go look at that out in the back. I can go fix that for you. But in the meantime, yeah. you can sit here and talk to the nice um, young lady about these here delicious pies right here. Dude was like, he pulled them glasses off. He said, oh, okay. Well, have at it. Why do old people do that, though? <laughs> they do. <laughs> they do this. <laughs> when, it, when it comes time for a serious conversation, they got to pull them glasses off. <laughs> It's almost like when you got a backup, you got to turn the music off. Yeah. <laughs> Why? I'm like, hold on, hold on. <sighs> All right, I'm back. And you crank it right back up like you're not about to turn the car yep, off. Uh -huh. And so dude was eating that pie. And I said, so you just going to stick your fork in the middle of the whole pie, dog? Yeah, at least go back there and get a knife and slice it. <laughs> get a slice. Just get on, man. So he digging in a couple pies. I said, see, I'm about next time. Put your pies in the little teeny shell. Yeah, little so teeny, yeah. So you can make your um your samples go around longer, man. Mm -hmm. That's what you do. See, he don't messed up your whole freaking pie. Yep. Ain't nobody else gonna sample that, but he don't dug in the middle. Uh huh. But he looked like he, he gonna be in. Pies. He looked like he said, mm. But she told him he gonna be able to double his investment with them pies. I was like, God darn. Yep. That's how you talk. So um, what else that happen? Um. Um, Dr. Dubois and um, Nova had walked down to the Ninth Ward. It's the Ninth Ward, right? Yeah, Ninth Ward. Ninth Ward, yeah. And it's still bucked up down there. And we what's know this? that that's still what's the this? case for real. Yeah, which is You same. know, a lot has, you know, they've helped a lot, but a lot is still bucked up. And Nova was telling them, which I need to look into this because this is bucked up if that's the truth, is now they do tours down there. And people paying $45 to see, see other people. Disaster. Now I understand we live in a 
a communist society. That's how things are set up. We ain't had nothing to do with that post kit. And people do profit off other people's pain. You know, the doctor profit off you being sick, the counselor profit off you being depressed. So it, that's the way it works. But that's, I think that is so- It's insensitive. Insensitive. Cause like the sign on it said, you know, it's like 1600, same on, same on you coming down here. 1600 plus people done died down here. And you will pay $45 to somebody else, which is profiting off of somebody else's pain. And you ain't taking that money and putting that money back to build back up that community. Right. If you was doing that, then that, that's it. good. But like, yeah, you can come see it, but this but money gonna go something. back. Yeah, this gonna go back to fix this. But maybe it might be. I don't know. I haven't heard. But it's yeah. it's how ironic. Oprah them showed that you know. Yeah, cause it got yeah. a, it's a nugget in there for real. For yeah, real. bringing that awareness. God knows, probably they, they didn't they don't put that on the news. Mm -mm. They're not gonna put that on the news. People no, crazy. No. So then we see Dala. She's doing her mama duties, right? And she has a little blue in the bathtub. And you know, he's playing with a shark and he's playing with Kenya and she's looking at Kenya and she asked Blue, say, you know, what's up with you and Kenya? Why do you like Kenya so much? And he said, because her hair's soft like mine. <laughs> she's smart. She can keep secrets. <laughs> she said, what else she said? She, she's she my good, best friend. She's my best friend. And Dala said, well, you know, mommy's here now. And he looked at her like. Uh -huh. This ain't got skit to do with you. Yeah, this is. This is my best friend. She's my best friend, my best friend, my best friend. <laughs> so, uh, I said, Dollar. And you can see her getting her feelings, boy. And I said, what you ain't gonna do. And she did it, y'all. She did it. That guy doing Ralph Angel figured out that Dollar took Kenya and took her down no, to the pawn shop. She told on herself. No, because he was looking for the doll. But he didn't know she took it yet. No, well, yeah, she told on herself. Yeah, she told on herself. She took the goddamn doll down there to the pawn shop and she traded it in for some dollars and she went to the crack house. That's my story <laughs> and I'm sticking to it. You ain't buy that dumpster store. No. Did he, he ain't throw it in the trash. Did he, he ain't find it. Did he find it? I mean, but the trash truck could have came and got it. Am I defending her right now? Yes, because she got you. I'm, I, I you went back in the skunking place, got, got, got to come, come back. I'm back. So, nah, she didn't take, but <laughs> she said that she felt like she was here now <clears throat> and Blue no longer needed Kenya. It don't work that way. It and she work. threw the baby in the, do in the dumpster near her house. Yeah, it don't work that way. So Ralph Angel, he had to go and do <clears throat> dumpster diving Looking for baby Kenya. And I almost went to jail. Cops roll up. Happened to be that it was a cop that knew Ralph Angel from way back in the gap. And he yeah. was like, I know this cat. He good. He good. Because he was dumpster diving on private property. For y'all that be wanting to do that dumpster diving stuff, it's cute. And I even look at the videos on YouTube. Don't ask me why, because I ain't never going to do that bullshit. <laughs> but if you doing that on private property and you get caught, you can get go, locked up. You going to jail, buddy. You going you go to jail for some hot curlers behind yeah. altar. Sheriff Mobley. <laughs> From too close to home, we're gonna come pick you right on up. And he no, no, he ain't no, gonna pick you up. He's gonna, he gonna tell you. He gonna tell you to drive yourself down to the jail. So I was like, oh Lord. So come to find out, Ralph Angel and this dude got to talking, and he was like, Ralph Angel, I appreciate how you always looked out for me when we was growing up, always having my back. Da 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 da. And he said, What's going on with you looking for this dog for your son? Ralph Angel said, Listen, my son don't been through a lot. I don't been through a lot. He said, I let my son be who he is, mm -hmm. how he wants to be. I let him have his way, which I was like, that's not always a good thing, Ralph Angel. But anyway, and he said, whatever it is, and that, that look of conviction that he gave him, he said, whatever it is that he decides he wants to be, I'm going to let him be who he is. And I said, come through, Ralph Angel. Mm -hmm. Then that look of conviction was so strong that homeboy was like, you know what? I'm so glad that yeah. even when you knew who I was, and I didn't want to own who I was, you, you let, never yeah, outed you me. Let me. And you, and you, you let, let me, me be me. me. And I said, Yeah. And then it started coming out. And I said, Okay, Ralph Angel. So Ralph Angel, he, Ralph yeah. Angel said, I'm not new to this. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm good. But that that's that's a major That was powerful though. Yeah, that's a major characteristic of a good friend. Yeah. A I good don't care friend will let you be you. Now, if you got some booze kick with you, <laughs> I'll get you call you out on that. But yeah. as far as you know, you you know doing stuff in the confines of, of the law 
and, and good character and stuff like that, but your sexual choices or, or what kind of car you want to drive, house you want to live in, who you want to date, I'll let you do you. Yeah, I don't give a rat's ass. Yeah, you do you. Yeah, and I ain't gonna say sexual choices. Whatever you are attracted to, whatever. Yeah, that's your you sexual do. choices. Don't say choice, cause that, that's sensitive. <laughs> Y'all know what the hell we mean. Um, So, Nova gets a phone call from an irate Charlie. So, you took my son over there to Habitat for Humanity when he was supposed to be a cast. So, she was like, Sorry, oh. I, uh, pump your brakes. I ain't no skit about that. But Charlie always like that. She calling, you know, coming out the gate 100 and don't even know the full story of what happened. So, Nova was sitting there with Dr. Dubois. He was getting ready to pay for dinner and everything. I said, see, you don't mess up this girl good mm -hmm. meal. She said, you know what? I can't even go to dinner with you. I got to go see about my sister. She goes on over there to cast that demon up out of Charlie and her house. <laughs> and she had the sage and she had her weed plant. She was throwing it. Mm -hmm. They want weed. <laughs> but she was like, listen, I got to clean this because what she saw the bar a joint. And I said, yum, no, hunter, and I said, get that up out of there. The Charlie said, did, did, this, ain't work. Work. this ain't working. She said, it's going to work when I leave. I said, what you trying to say? You got to leave it too? Would it be bad if I talk about current times right now? No, it wouldn't. Y'all know Karen and Thomas. She come on like wee hours in the morning. You got Call it on the wrong screaming. channel. You hear him on there. It goes! Yeah. He was on there one morning and he was talking to this lady he on the phone. And he actually said, do you feel it? She said, no! That's what Charlie was He like. said, the devil is a lie. I don't shit. <laughs> yeah! Y'all know, I'm trying to tell you. We were talking about that at work. One of my coworkers said he came home drunk one night. He said he left the channel home. He was watching something else, but then in the middle of the night, he said he woke up and he heard somebody say, And God, go bless you! <laughs> he said, what the hell? And, and we're seeing you a perfect, 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 perfect package. package. <laughs> and you put it on you, you're supposed to get healed. <laughs> How many people, God doing all of us should be healed by that, yeah. but that guy doing something. Huh. I ain't saying I don't believe in the power of miracles and prayer and healing, but I'm saying, Curtis Thomas ain't gonna send me the personal prayer package and get yeah <laughs> so so they get over there nova so i'm telling her listen charlie can i be real frank with you right now a whole lot of your problems stem from your goddamn mama and i'm not saying that because it's, it's not my mama because we got different mamas but i don't want you to get offended but you are a control freak and your mama yeah. did that mm -hmm. well good thing Charlie they had just went to counseling yeah because she already got that revelation yeah, she got delivered so that <laughs> so her hearing that information didn't shock her at the yeah. moment because she already been prepped for this see god comes in on that yeah you know ain't hey ten thousand i'm sitting yeah. right here getting ten thousand steps but anyway so oh, they get i don't even think i got mine yet no nah, i'm four away you do like this you'll get it so she basically told us, hey, you, you raised Michael. He a good dude, you know, but he's just going through growing pains, and so are you. You're mm -hmm. going to be all right. And I said, okay. So learn how to be a man. So then we got, um, what her name is, Davis West and Michael. They basically doing this one for one. Yeah. I shoot, make who? They, they playing horse, but with horse with questions. <laughs> so Michael's first question was, are you a sex addict? He no, said, no. He said, but I'll be honest with you. I've lived this life where I'm a, I, everything is accessible to me. Yeah. And it started to become normal to me. He meant that I, I have a problem. He said, yeah. He said, but he said, I don't know what it is. I said, it's because everything is accessible to you. I, I heard a whole bunch of commotion going on. I said, am I getting deported? <laughs> you know, I'm a citizen though. Yeah. So, um, what am I talking about? Oh, so then um, Davis West asked his son, I said, hey, did they yeah, rough you yeah. up? Them cops do anything? And he said, no. Nah. He said, what it was, Dad, this is new to me. I ain't never been in mm -hmm. an environment like this. And I was scared, skitless. He said, but they didn't touch me. And I said, oh, thank you, Jesus. So, yeah, thankfully, nothing happened to Michael. I feel you. I remember the first time I got pulled over by cops. Did I tell you? I don't know. I had that color Sierra, um, color Supreme. No, it was just, no the Sierra, because it's the car that Mama gave me. Mm -hmm. Mom and Dad gave me the car. And, uh... We had a little bit of electrical problems with it. <laughs> so this particular night, in the hometown, riding down the street, and the guy doing back lights went out. And of course, these back lights go out, you don't even know. So the cop to pull me over, thank God he knew who he was, he knew my dad, all that stuff. And he was like, man, you know your back tail lights is out? 
I said, hmm, I thought, I thought it was good. Mm -hmm. He said, no, they out, but he said, make sure I'm getting a fix. He said, if I catch you next time, I'm going to give you a ticket. That's yeah. first time? Yeah, that was the first time I got pulled over. I got pulled over a lot. That but got, it was for dumb stuff, though. But I got pulled over one time, come back from your house when we were dating. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't my fault. Nah, that wasn't your fault. That was the freaking what you call the fuck. I got pulled over one time because I was on a really bad date. Oh, well, you told me about that. Yeah. How you going to take me out on a date? But then your car so jacked up that I don't even want to ride in that joker. So I had to end up driving, which made me in my feelings. <laughs> Cause I don't do that. I don't, I don't, I let men be men. If you can't be a man, you can't date me. So I'm driving me and you on our date. I'm pissed. I'm trying to get you back to your raggedy car. And I don't give a rat say if you make it back home. <laughs> but in the meantime, I'm doing 70 and a 25. And the cop pulled me over. And you know how I told y'all last week. It got a little lower, a little lower, a little lower. <laughs> and, you know, I put the charm on. I was like, I'm so sorry. I was like, if you can't see, I'm having a really bad night. And I kind of looked over at the guy. And the cop was like, you know what? I'm <laughs> supposed to impound your car. And I'm actually supposed to. Take your license, too. Yeah, he said, I'm supposed <clears throat> to write this ticket for reckless driving. He said, but what I'm going to do is reduce it down since you're being so nice. And I see you've had a bad night. But your ticket will be very hefty. But he said, you won't have to go to driving school. But you will have to pay the ticket. And I don't have to impound your car. Please have a nice night and slow down. I said, <laughs> I said thank you. <laughs> you see. So, yeah. So that happened. And um, I'm sorry, bro. I'm good. Um, seriously. <laughs> so then it was time for for um nobody to return. Time to favor. Coffee for coffee, Starbucks. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Have mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. Grandi. Mm -hmm. Um, Venti. Which one you want? Because huh. I got a whole large tall order of it. Let's go. Yes, sir. Well, they ain't get to that. She ain't took. She didn't take one for the team this time. She taking nah. this relationship nice and slow. And he done told her, say, hey, I like you. Yeah. And she basically done told him, too. I'm a little sweating, right. too. Uh, I like you, too. I said, mm. I say, don't be scared. Just bring, just bring, just bring uh -huh. the wall he, on down. He just black. Yeah, just bring he the just wall black. down. Yeah, just black. Look, when it come out, it might scare you a little bit first time, but you be, you get out, you get used to it. It'll be okay. It'll be okay. Do some squats. <laughs> so. You stupid. So then we see, um, we still ain't got Kenya back. Because nah. that guy doing, now she over there. Trying um, to rough up that dollar. new doll. Yeah, trying to make it like an old doll. He gonna be able to tell. Blue gonna know that ain't yeah, Kenya. Yeah, he gonna be like, this ain't Kenya. He gonna try to take it and throw it out. This ain't Kenya. Uh, Say, Kenya had virgin hair. This is synthetic. <laughs> this ain't my baby. So did I tell her he had hair like me? <laughs> Shock. Give me this booze. <laughs> Say, it's half <had> soft. <laughs> this ain't, this is, this is raggedy. Mm. So, and then we see she gets a phone call and she walks away from my Ralph Angel. Well, the phone call is from Charlie. Charlie don't have to change her heart. She said, listen, I looked up your resume and I decided, listen, I'm swamped over here at the mill. I could use an office manager. It's going to be long hours, long nights. I got an attitude problem. But if you can, um, you can roll with me. Yeah. The job is yours. And you can start in the mirror. So she turns around to her Ralph Angel. I just got a job. He was like, well, tell me all about it, baby. Shoot. Hit me with it. Bow. I told you. I told you it was going to happen. The Lord told yeah, me. Yeah, I told you. I prophesied. <laughs> <laughs> and it came to pass. She said, but it's with Charlie. He said, said the devil is a lie. I rebuke said, you. <laughs> said she knocked the paws in him, boy. <laughs> yeah. I said, what the hell? I, so finally, go I finally get at a point where she ain't in my business. And now, now she got my girl, so that means she gonna try. <laughs> she got me by the mall, she had the pussy. Yeah. Grab him by the and, pussy. And in my pocket now. God door. God door. I, I said, Dollar, did you even know what you gonna get paid out? Nope, she just said, I'm gonna take the job. I guess when it's like that sometimes, you be yeah, like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Lord, I got a job one time trying to sell perfume on the street. When I first moved here and I was straight out of college. Well, you mama, I freaking try to go around selling them Christmas toys. <laughs> on that Christmas, I made some money. <laughs> And then, then them scams was coming out where people were making people smell their perfume and pass uh -huh. out and they were robbing them. Yep. So every time I approached somebody, I almost got killed. <laughs> so you smell like, you smell like. I said, you know what? I'm dumb. I can't do this. Nah, we gonna have some crazy. I had a job trying to sell knives, 
trying to sell vacuum cleaners. Those were the best knives, man. Cutco. No, Cutco, yeah. Them Cutco Jones, yeah, those were. I just lost my knife, man. I'm like but them, suffering. But them motherfuckers cost $2,000, though. But if you, if you sell them, you get them for, what, about $150 uh -huh. for the set? Yeah, they don't hold their value. <laughs> nah, they don't. But they hold up, like. But they hold up, yeah, because we had that, because I did that, man, back when we was dating. We've been together for over, over 15, 20 years. Not 20, about 17 years. Yeah, so I got it way back then. And we took, and we lost it like it was from last year. I think you do it in the trash. I hope I didn't. I think so. Hopefully it'll turn up. But y'all, yeah. straight from the VA. The dirty, dirty south. To, to up, to, to down. down. Holla.